Right, howdy peeps, we are back, back again. Right, uh, as you probably know by the title, um, the Titan Hide, the first edition, um, it's 12 months or so on now, and how's it furred up? Uh, just a bit of a, a quick summary of it before we go into it. Um, pretty good, pretty damn good. I've got to say, it's my number one bivvy. It, it is one of my best bivvies. Um, I've got the Titan T1 as well. But the hide just hits and ticks all the boxes massively. Um, gone from Fox Brollies and all that, Cayman bivvies and so on and so on. But the hide just has to hit it with me. It really does it massively. There is one or two tweaks that are wrong with it. But in the warmer climates, I'll tell you what, can not knock it i wish i could but i can't so rather than me sit here and waffle about it we'll go outside in the back garden because of covid 19 thing um and we'll set it up basically and just run through a few things with it so i put a jacket on because it is windy uh, and we'll go outside and set it up I can't be bothered doing the walking thing, so I'll, uh, I think we'll just teleport there. So see you in a minute. Oh, I'm doing that. That's totally awesome. Easy way to get around. Right, anyway, cracking on, tight and high. Um, I've got it here on the floor. I'll just do a couple of little measurements. Um, nothing fancy, just pack size and all the rest of it. So, you know how small it is. So, uh, tape measure. I've got tape measure. Hang on a minute. You ready? Ah. There you go. Tape measure. Right. I like that. That's the easy part. Right, let's figure out what this thing is. So it's just down there you're for. Right, as you can see, it is measurement on a generous side. 47 inches long, 46, 47 inches long. Pack size, what's that? Let's see, that, that is nine inches, about nine inches. Overall, not bad at all. Uh, pack's really small, that's one of the things that I like about it. Weight wise, mm, it's not as heavy as some things out there, uh, but the, the bag itself, still in good nick. Really good nick. You have a little scuff mark here and there, but that's about it. But good nick. Um, bottom of the bag, got a reinforced section here. Uh, the poles do stick out a bit, so I could see that all the time. Um, just wearing out after a little bit, so just be a bit cautious and careful with that. But no, still 12 months on, still looking new, still looking quite well. So anyway, we'll uh, set it up and then we'll go around a few things with it and a few pointers that I've found and we'll do a couple of measurements uh, just for one or two people's clarifications of things. So let's crack on with it and set it up. Right, so tight and high set up. I set it up. I didn't time it. I'm sorry, I forgot. But trust me, it doesn't take long to set up at all not one bit so setup time for this thing is just amazing that's one of the key things that i like about it right just to touch on one of the questions that somebody asked me um what is the measurement of the front door uh, without the panel zipped on so i've taken measure in hand so we're just going to measure that and that measures in at one meter one meter one so, and in inches, if you want it in inches, it is 39 uh, and three quarters, nearly 40 inches. So that's the actual door inside. Uh, when it's zipped up, the front opening door is pretty much something similar. Um, there's not much in it at all. Uh, the height inside here, um, literally from where I'm sat in front of me, is give me a second to the top 
is four foot one inch. That's to the top to where the light thing is, four foot one inch. So it is relatively high. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm six foot four and I can get my bed chair in here, not a problem. Um, one thing that I will tell you that I have found with the bed chair is yes, it is a flat back and Nash, I still give it you that on that flat back. It is amazing, it really is. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the flat back is just outstanding, absolutely outstanding. Um, is pull the bed chair, I've got the Trekker uh, bed chair, uh, the ELS, uh, which is the extra lumbar support, and it is a, quite a long bed chair. So what I started doing is just pull it away from the back a little bit and depending on which way the rods are and all the rest of it is I'll tilt the bed chair on a bit of an angle and it gives me room down one side at the back and still ample room in here to get all my kit and all the rest of it. I mean, you know, I'm on my bed chair buddy by Trekker um, and I can quite easily put that in here and my bed chair as well and my tackle. Um, it, it's amazing, the, the room in it is amazing, I'm just completely shocked. Um, I'll show you a couple of shots of it outside with and without the front. Um, bear in mind, I usually fish it without the front on um, and um, sometimes one of the sides roll back, uh, it just gives that more ventilation in summer. Um, but obviously when the night draws in I close the sides and I don't zip the door completely off uh, I leave that for quick access to zip up zip it back up and that's it for the night and if it's hot 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 then I'll put my mesh panel on the front uh, and do it that way um, but overall inside I still find this thing fantastic 12 months or so on and it is still going strong. Um, I'm going to mention something else that I don't like doing, but Fox Broly, I completely give up with everything else. This thing has been designed by somebody that fishes for a long period of time, hence why its compactness is so well thought out, and I mean well thought out. So What's it been like 12 months on? Well, we'll have a quick peek outside um, and then we'll come back in and I'll give you a few shots of it outside of how I generally fish it. So let's have a quick peek. <laughs> This is it outside, um, 12 months on, still in excellent condition all the way around. There is not a thing wrong with it. The only thing that I found is these buckles here that if you're banging them in hard ground they tend to bend. Now that's done it on the T1 as well. Now I'm not too bothered about things like that because I can put some paracord around it and do it but no, it's still going good and strong. Roof, completely fine, not a problem. I'll give you that flat back profile, you can have a look. Flat back. And I've put the storm poles on, which you don't have to, but I put them on because they give you that extra support that's not really needed, but they're right out of the way. You've got a couple of rod restrainers on it, and you've got the guttering system that runs across and it does work, it does work completely. Um, th this is the side that I generally roll back out of the way and leave it completely open. I have the front zipped off.
but yeah let's sit back down and carry it on yeah so as you can tell a quick whip round of it and 12 months or so on and this thing is still fantastic I still have nothing to whinge about it not really I mean I still say that the door could do with a, a little modification on it but apart from that no it's fine it's nice low profile there's more room in it than what you actually think a lot lot more room um, I haven't had a look at the new Titan hide and um, apparently it's a lot taller and all the rest of it but I'm more than happy with this this gives me the brolly effect um, for those of you that are brolly sworn by you know you love your brollies and all the rest of it as I said in my first earlier review of this um, do not dismiss this at all in fact have a look at it if you're a mad brolly user because honestly it's fantastic I, I still can't knock it apart from that little bit with the door but apart from that no it's fantastic so yeah 12 months or so on do I still love it yes fantastic um, I won't knock it won't change it for anything um, it's got to be probably one of the best pivots on the market you know when you price it up and how well it's been used and all the rest of it and the versatility of it I mean I can get this in some small swims and I mean small swims and still now I've no real issues with it I really don't so let's wrap it up guys let's sum it up for this one Titan Hyde would I purchase this over anything else first yes I would would I give it the thumbs up yeah massively two thumbs up massively I, I, I can't knock it I really can't um, yeah so we'll wrap it up on this one any questions any comments anything like that please do feel free um, I've given one or two measurements because somebody asked me about it don't forget I am six foot four um, I'm not a little chap at all and this thing is amazing the like, best way to sum it up is Doctor Who and the TARDIS that is the best way to sum this up um, the poles, stone poles you don't really need them but I just put them on for extra support um, yeah right that's it I'm not going to baffle on too much about it so we'll wrap it up at that one um, and the next one is the Titan T1 now let's see how that's fared up after 18 months and more so until next time guys tight lines keep the fishing oh yeah COVID 19's finished so well not finished but we can go fishing again so yeah let's get some fishing done guys get out there get on it keep carping see you later boys